Good morning. Uh, I'm Assistant Commissioner Peter Martin, uh, the Assistant Commissioner responsible for Metropolitan North Region of the Queensland Police Service. And as part of my uh, roles, I'm also the District Disaster Coordinator for, uh, for the Brisbane area. Uh, and that includes uh, the Brisbane City Council area and also Redlands City Council as well. Um, this uh, briefing is current as of Monday the 31st of January 2011 uh, and uh, current as of 11.40am. Uh, Over the last uh, couple of days we've been monitoring the progress of ex-tropical cyclone Antony. Antony overnight crossed the Queensland coast and immediately uh, uh, formed a rain depression uh, that has caused very uh, significant winds and uh, some localised uh, uh, weather events such as uh, localised flooding, roads cut and uh, some very minor, uh, minor damage. But we've been monitoring the progress of tropical cyclone Yazi that, uh, that we've been watching since the latter part of last week. And over the last uh, 12 hours or so, that uh, system is now steadily moving from the Fiji area uh, in the Coral Sea, uh, progressively um, east, uh, sorry, west toward uh, the Queensland coast. At the present time, uh, as a result of a briefing received a short time ago, that Yazi is uh, moving um, in a direction uh, consistent with the Queensland coast. It's 2,000 kilometres away and is moving in the vicinity of about 30 kilometres an hour or so. This is a very significant uh, tropical cyclone event and based upon the current predictions is likely to impact the Queensland coast at an unknown location sometime around the latter part of Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, evening, to the early hours of Thursday. Now, naturally enough, cyclones are incredibly unpredictable um, events and we're monitoring the situation as uh, best as we possibly can. But the advice that we, re that we have received at this particular juncture indicates that it could possibly make uh, landfall somewhere at the coast in uh, the area of uh, approximately Townsville. But as I'd indicated before, uh, cyclones are in, in, uh, inherently unreliable. But we're monitoring the, uh, the situation. But certainly for those of us uh, that are in the Brisbane area, it's a timely reminder that uh, we are not immune from cyclones. Uh, we do live in the tropics and the subtropics, and equally uh, cyclones uh, can impact uh, the southeast corner of Queensland. They can impact, and our history shows that they can impact upon us directly, or they can impact upon us indirectly as a result of a significant weather pattern, including increased rain that uh, can occur within the context of a uh, cyclonic event. So this is also a good time to remind the citizens of Brisbane and the Redlands area to not be complacent, to make sure that they do some very simple things. And that is to make sure that they have torches, to make sure that their torches have batteries, to have a radio that has batteries, to, uh, to make sure that their home is provisioned with things like first aid uh, equipment and what have you, and to make sure that they're alert to the bulletins that are put out by the Bureau of Meteorology and other reliable government sources, including the Queensland Police Service. Um, some other general precautions as well, and that is to make sure that uh, motor vehicles, uh, that they have uh, fuel uh, in their motor vehicles, and to make sure that their home is reasonably provisioned with respect to food, water and the basic essentials, such as their medications, those sorts of things. This is not a time to be, uh, to be alarmed. Um, it's certainly uh, a time to be a precaution in terms of making sure that those very simple messages are, uh, are heeded. Uh, I'd also like to remind people that in an event such as a cyclone or other storm, simple messages such as down power lines, uh, flooding uh, in uh, local uh, causeways, rivers and low-lying roads and making sure that people not enter those watercourses and to make sure that people uh, don't drive through uh, flooded waterways are always very simple messages. But also other things such as uh, we've seen significant uh, water inundation across the Greater Brisbane area and in fact uh, right across the, uh, the state of Queensland. So uh, high winds with respect to uh, uh, large trees, uh, the risk of those trees uh, falling over or branches falling is something that people need to be alert to as well. So I, I guess my simple messages are one of being informed and being alert, taking reasonable precautions with respect to your safety, the safety of your family and your general community, and I'm sure that we'll uh, all get through this event as uh, best as we possibly can. But to, uh, but to make sure that uh, you're constantly alert to the messaging put out by reliable government sources. Thank you.